Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode of Africa or Hakuna Matata for the PS3. You're watching me, RoboBen, play through it. This photography game that is amazing. All right, so last time we ended off with getting a non-perfectionist uh, shot of the stork, which was sad on my part. But that's uh, okay, whatever, whatever. It was still good, I still got an A for a couple of the shots. So, Equator Tours. Hello Robin, this is Kenichi at Equator Tours Travel Agency. I heard you're researching Lake Hero. You know what that means, flamingos. I'd like to use a picture of a flamingo as it takes off for the cover of the, our brochure. Could I ask you to take one for me? Thank you and I appreciate your business. We will accept this mission. This is a tough one. Uh, we'll also put in a picture of this guy. I forgot to add him last episode. Bushbuck, adult. And that should be good. Next we'll photograph a flamingo taking flight. Let's snap a photo of a flamingo spreading its wings and running. And I can't go outside, so let's do that tomorrow. You gonna tell me to check my email? Nope. But I know I have mail. Uh, all about mammals field guide. Hello Robin, this is Javi over at IRS Publishing, the same guy who wanted the uh, African buffalo before. We're in the process of putting together a field guide covering all of the world's mammals, but we still haven't gotten our hands on a photo of the bush buck. Do you think you could spare a full, full, full body shot of one if you've got it? Can I? Of course I can. Do I want this one? this one. Let's put this one in. Technique. I kind of overexposed it. But I still got an A. So it's good. I think that's all for that. And, um... Oh! This is also new! What? I never got this one last time either. There are African buffalo at Lake Hero. Or so I'm told. Well, look closely and you can spot a small bird riding on its horns or shoulders. That's an oxpecker. Oxpeckers are birds that eat insects on the buffalo's body. If you see one, please be sure to send us a photo. Thanks. Wow. Again, I have not gotten that mission before. I am absolutely surprised. I don't know how small these guys are. These oxpeckers. peckers on them. This is something I'm gonna have to research, I think. Alright, so you look for the flamingos. I don't know if anybody's playing this, but I'm gonna tell you how I've managed it. You look for the flamingos, because you can't go any further than this, in the middle of the lake. And you look for the ones that are going to... Oh my gosh, I need a new controller. Martin, my boyfriend. And then you wait for them to take off. Oh. And then hopefully they take off in your direction. You two, come land. But not away from me. Land towards me. There we go. This should be good. This should be good. This is going to be the money shot. Ah, <laughs> your sounds are awesome. Okay, but you got to take off. Come on, take off. Oh my gosh, your sounds are hilarious. Okay. I'm 
I'm waiting for this guy. Oh no, I'm too. F <laughs> Crap. I should have known. Please tell me you're gonna take off. That'd be awesome. I feel like you're gonna do it. I feel like you're gonna do it. Let's take one of those back to Mama. We'll take that one. A little out of shot, but I think that's as close as we're gonna get. Apparently the, the uh, ox, ox peckers don't always show up, so that's gonna be one thing that we're just gonna have to look for. All right, I hope you're happy with this shot. What's next? Got a job for you. Got an uh, ad photo job for you. Hey Robin, how goes? I just received a photo request for you. The client wants to advertise their new baby formula using a bunch of shots of different animals' babies cuddling up to their mothers. They want you to snap a baby ba baboon clinging to its mother. We can do that. I better make sure that I actually accept it first. Back to Lake Hero. Next, we photograph a baboon infant. Let's find an infant latched onto its mother. But baboons are testy. We'll have to proceed with caution. Yes, we will. I need to get back to that bush. Oh, he's in the bush. You rat bastard. No, get away, get away. Controllers! Controllers work! Please! Ugh. These controllers, I can't wait to retire them. Well, this sucks. These guys see me. I am without my car now. That's frustrating. Still safe? Still safe, hopefully? This guy's a youngster, I think, so he wouldn't be... He wouldn't be a crazy threat. This is the one that I worry about. He's watching me. Baby baboon clinging to its mother. Ooh, hey! Just squeaked by with an A. Just squeaked by. That could have very easily been a B. All right, and let's do a. Uh, photo of Gamma too. I took some of these. Whoa. Lots of baboon photos. 
let's see. I took some of these off off camera. I think I have probably take this one. for an ostrich face shot. We're currently looking to expand our database of wildlife photos with a particular focus on face shots. Do you have any ostrich face shots that we might add to our collection? If you had any nice close-up, please send them my way. Let's do that. And a cyan hunter sneaks up on prey. The African elephant photo that we used on the cover was outstanding. Nice work. Your target, your next target is a leopard. We want a shot of a uh, of one right as it makes a kill. A leopard's hunt is over in a flash, so don't miss your chance to take the shot. This is a tough job, but I know, I know you'll deliver in spades, Robin. Let's take that one. What was the other one? Ostrich face shot. Our next job is to photograph a hunting leopard. The leopard spends much of its time in trees and stalks prey from the tree branches. Let's look at some for some woods which may serve as a habitat for a leopard. This is an annoying quest not to actually do the the photograph but <laughs> it was very very cryptic on what you had to do in order to get this silly thing to go so what we will do now that I know this stuff uh, bird with monkey is we will go to Lake Hero what was the other one? Oh, ostrich ostrich face maybe we'll do that as well Go to Lake Hero, have the cutscene happen that has to happen, and then go home and sleep, because that apparently is what you're supposed to do, because last time I did this, I tried sleeping overnight in my tent, and it did not trigger because you actually had to go home and have a write-up and a report, which was silly. Alright, I will see you guys at the cutscene. Or just before it actually, so you know where it is. Oh, an Impala. What could have done this? are said to hoist their kills up into trees. Perhaps that explains the dangling impala. Robin, why don't we try that area once more? So yeah, so last time, I could not figure it out until I finally gave up and went home to sleep. Ooh, act now. Limited quantity available. Thank you for your continued business, Robin. Today, a limited quantity of our newest SLR came in, and we want you to be the first to know. The 350 is a shop-featured model, and is an excellent digital SRR. SLR. This is the shop pro for me to get more details. I am glad that I did not grab any more shots. Alright. Bye. I don't think we have anything to email. I just realized I know why they want you to come home. They want you to get the new camera for the leopard hunt. So that you are fully prepared. Let's do that.
Robin, a leopard in that tree. The tree. It's stalking the impala from the tree. Let's get a little closer. I was hoping maybe to get, like, right the hunt. The moment of hunt. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I like that one. Poor Impala. Don't forget to report the photographs of the leopard hunt to the client. I won't, Eric. Alright, let's uh, take this one. Your best shot. to witness that leopard hunt at such a proximity. Great work today. Let's rest up for an early start tomorrow. Yes, Eric. Good morning, Robin. The weather is great today. Thank you. That's something different than what you normally say. Ooh, new product in stock. Oh, thank you for continued business. Today, we'd like to present a Zoom LED specially designed for telephoto photography. The 75 to 300 uh, millimeter focal 4.5 to 5.6 is an interchangeable lens for the A-series, perfect for getting right in the face of your subjects without having to take a step closer, which we will be doing. Ooh, our final area unlocks. Robin, we received new information yesterday about a vast stretch of savanna in the Manana CA west of where you've been conducting your survey. It's known as the Kiwanja Plain. This is the truly the last of last frontiers. They're telling you right now, don't expect any more. We've attached some map data we obtained, so please get started on researching this new area. Type of giraffe. Hello, Robin. Giraffes can be divided into a number of species based on the patterns on their bodies. All of the giraffe so photos you sent us so far are, are what we call the Maasai giraffe. We have reason to believe there might be other giraffe species besides the Maasai giraffe in the Manana CA. If you spot one, please be sure to snap a photo and send it to us. That would be the reticulated giraffe. All right, let's grab this. never heard of the Kuwanja Plain. How could we have missed such a large expanse? And, I don't want to exit yet, I want my new lens, please. This is, uh, I think this is my favorite lens in the game. Alright, uh, yeah, let's head out. And then after this, we will say goodbye to you lovely people and see you on the next episode. But, not without seeing the new plane first.
Oh, he's gonna drive. I'll drive us to Kawanja Plain. Go ahead, jump in. This is the path to Kawanja Plain. I can't wait to see what we'll find there. We've arrived. This is Kawanja Plain. Let's go a little further towards that hill. Ah, reticulated giraffes. I can see the horizon. What an incredible geography. Robin, I'll leave the driving up to you. Alright, so first things first. Oops. Let's, uh... Let's get him to see. Come on. See these. No cyborg yet. So, first things first. Reticulated giraffes. Yes, they are. Ah, warthogs. Isn't that a warthog? Indeed it is. Come on guys, into my sights. Ah, there we go. Oh, lion. Right in front of us. Lions are probably the, in my opinion, the toughest to photograph. Because they want a bunch of close-up shots of them. And uh, they're rather uh, particular about not having you close to them. And they do not like the truck. This is a nice shot, though. I wonder when she's gonna notice me. Wow. She clearly doesn't care that much, I guess. We got some nice, nice shots of her. Is she gonna look? Oh, nope. Normally, if we're this close... What is that? Vulture. Normally, if we're this close, she is not... not happy. And since I'm here, I might as well try and get some nice shots of her. Yeah, see? There you go. They do not like anything coming nearby. The lion is definitely one of the tougher ones to uh, photograph. Which is why I was going to wait for a nice shot, but at the same time I'm like, eh, I don't feel like waiting right now. There will be plenty of missions with lions. So many that I get sick of them. Oh, these guys. Lands. Oh, we need a picture of them too. Apparently, these guys are pretty rare, so I should probably probably get myself a picture of one now.
I think they only show up at certain times. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to put these guys into the field guide, which I won't show you, but I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you come back for more later. We have had a very full episode of lions and such. Yeah, there's some nice pictures. All right, see you guys soon. Bye-bye for now.